Hello friends and fellow YouTubers, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you offline domain joining. Basically this is a feature that was introduced in Windows Server 2008 R2 and it's available for all uh, operating system uh, later than Windows 7 and uh, Windows Server 2008 R2. So you can both join um, computers or servers uh, in your domain and it doesn't require for those servers to be connected to your um, company network environment. So basically what does that mean is um, you will create a file on one of the computers or one of the servers within your domain and later on copy that file to another location where you don't have you, you have servers or, or um, computers that currently that site does not have internet access to your or does not have access to your um, company environment but you can join them using this uh, offline domain file so um, in order for me to configure uh, the offline domain join I will first have to go to one of the uh, servers in my environment and um, I'm going to use my domain controller but it's not required for the server or the machine to be a domain controller uh, it only has to uh, it only needs access to your domain controller because that file will um, create a computer object and will store that object within your domain and of course the account that you are going to use to create that file needs to have permissions to create new objects within your um, Active Directory within your organizational unit that you have. So I'm going to log in to my domain controller and the first thing that I need to do is I need to open a common prompt window as administrator click yes and the command that I'm going to use to um, create or provision that uh, a file, that txt file, uh, it's going to be djoin. So the full command uh, is djoin and then provision switch and then domain and I'm going to specify my domain which is nlblab.com Oops and then uh, I need to specify the machine name that I'm going to provision the file to. So the machine is going to be in my case NLB PC 02 and I'm going to save the file under C and then oops and then slash slash and I'm going to name the file Windows 10 offline domain join .txt. I'm going to press enter and you can see that the command executed successfully and um, the provisioning file was saved under C Windows TXT so let's go there okay see and there is the file it's only 3 KB so it's not a big file and when you open the file you will notice that uh, the file and the information was encrypted so um, if for example that file um, is lost or stolen it's not going to be able to see what is the information that uh, is within that file which is a great thing the next thing that I want to show you is when I go to my Active Directory users and computers and expand my computers organization uh, container I can see that I already have by provisioning the offline domain join blob file it's called basically a blob file the Active Directory creates the object for that computer right here so I have partially set even though I don't have connection to this computer at the moment I have partially set uh, the um, computer and it's currently joined to my domain the next step that I need to do is I need to go to that computer copy over the file 
for example using a USB drive or um, using other methods that you think it's uh, a good way to do it, other more secure methods. And by using that te text file I'm going to join the computer. Ok, now that I have already copied over the text file to my um, local computer that I have, you can see right away on the bottom right side of the screen that that computer is not connected to a network at all. So if I log in and you can see that I'm using a local account to log into that machine. And you can see that uh, there is no connection available. It's not connected, completely not connected. So um, you can use the offline domain join file in several scenarios. For example, if you want to deploy um, another site, another remote site that uh, it's not in production still and the network configuration is not um, fully configured to allow you to connect to your corporate environment you can pre-generate the offline domain join files and just copy them over to um, the administrator in the remote site, provide uh, the files to him and he will go ahead and just join all the servers and all the computers there into your domain. So when the network connectivity is fully um, configured, they can work normally like they were joined uh, through the normal way into your domain. Another option would be to create the blob files, the offline domain job uh, blob files to uh, if you want to deploy multiple virtual machines in a big data center so it would be a good way for you to to achieve this so if i open my c drive on my computer i can see that i have the windows 10 offline domain join file and if i go to system for example i can see that the work group is currently um, work group and it's not joined to a domain at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a common prompt as administrator right click and run as admin I'm going to accept the message and I'm going to use the same command djoin but instead of using the provision switch I'm going to use the request odj switch this time so the command is djoin and then request offline domain join and load file and use the file that I have stored on my C drive which is win10 offline domain join dot txt and then windows path and specify the windows path which is system root and then local os and press enter okay and now you can see that uh, the provisioning request completed successfully in general and a reboot is required for the changes to be applied so let me see if I go to system, it's still saying that it's in a work group, but this time I can see that the, com the computer full name changed to nlbpc02 at nlblab.com domain. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to restart the computer and see if my domain join was successful. So let's restart. Now that my computer is up and running again, I'm going to try to log in to it. But now you can see that I have the option to use a domain credentials to log in. 
unfortunately I still do not have any connectivity on that computer so if I try to log in with my domain account it will say that uh, there are no logon servers available but let's try for us to do this and see how it will go And after thinking about it for a few minutes and you can see that uh, it says that there are currently no logon servers available to service the logon request and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with my local admin account just to verify that I'm joined to the NLB lab domain and after that I'm going to connect my network cable so I can see if I'll be able to log in with my um, domain credentials. So there you go, you can see that uh, currently uh, this computer is residing in the nlblab.com domain now. So I'm going to log off from the local user account. I'm going to connect the network cable and let's see if I'll be able to log in with my domain credentials. Okay, now I've uh, connected the network cable to the um, network interface. So let me just try to log in and this time I'm going to use my domain credentials instead. Let's see if that will do the trick here. Okay, and straight away I can see that um, I was able to log in with my domain user account instead of the local account and now Windows is configuring my profile. So I'm going to pause the video right here and I'm going to resume so we can finish the um, video of offline, how you can offline domain join a computer and verify that everything is working fine. Now that I'm fully logged into my uh, already joined uh, to my domain computer, I'm going to verify once again. I can see that uh, I'm currently in the domain and um, everything is pretty much functional and working fine. So uh, this is the overview and the tutorial of how you can perform an offline domain join to a computer or a server when you don't have internet connection to that device. If you like my videos you can always hit the like button, if you don't like them you can always hit the unlike button, but I would ask to give me a comment what would you like to see, what would you like to be improved and you can always subscribe so you can be notified when I release new videos about um, installing, configuring devices and fun things for an administrator to do. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.